Hello people, in this video let us look at PICA. PICA is coming under developmental and behavioral disorders in pediatrics. PICA is a ingestion of non-nutritive substances. Okay, So this is a developmental and behavioral disorder. Especially this is very common in children below 5 years of age. They are ingesting what? Non-nutritive substances. What is non-nutritive substance? Like soil. Maybe it uh, feels very nutritious uh, when you think of soil, right? But actually, here they are categorizing it as non-nutritive substance. Paint. Imagine eating paint. Charcoal plaster. The only thing about good eating paint is that you can eat color, color, color stuff. Charcoal is black anyways. Plaster. And what type of plaster is this? So, this is inappropriate. Okay. So basically, this is common in children less than 5 years of age. And why does this happen? It is mostly seen in children who have malnutrition, iron deficiency, poor economic uh, status, uh, etc. And uh, in this, what the cause is? What is the cause? The cause is, same thing. Malnutrition is a cause, isn't it? There is developmental delay. There is some stress for the child. Maybe the mother is uh, not giving enough attention or there is parental neglect. Or there is abuse of the child. Okay, so just pay attention to this when the child comes to the OPD. I hope they bring it to the OPD with all this deprivation and neglect and abuse. Will they bring it at all? Okay, and then uh, <clears throat> other behavioral disorders can produce uh, predisposed to pica. Okay, other behavioral disorders <clears throat> which they did not specify here. Children with pica are at increased risk for lead poisoning. Say they eat all this pencil lead and all that, they'll get lead poisoning, isn't it? And eat all the soil, they'll get parasitic infestations. So now let us come to management. What will you do as a doctor? Give it lollipop and some biscuits and chocolates. I think that is good enough. Okay, what you should do, you should give it behavior modification. How do you do that? I would have rather told it to give it some nutritious food, give it attention, feed it nicely. Elevating, alleviating the stress, whatever stress is there in that baby's life, remove it. Behavior modification. You screen it for lead poisoning, check if it has lead toxicity. Deworm it because it is eating uh, parasitic, parasite infested soil, etc. How will you deworm albendazole, mebendazole, all those things? Then iron supplementation because iron deficiency. Check for it first of all if it has iron deficiency, right? Then you can give iron supplementation. So how will you treat pica? Uh, see this baby is eating all the soil right mm -hmm. so for this baby how you will treat you know you should do behavior modification say behavior behavior modification modification alleviating stress alleviating stress screening screening for lead poisoning for lead poisoning deworming 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 iron supplementation Iron supplementation. Thank you.